All right, we gotta walk around. There's a, a Pokemon news feed going on down below. Apparently interviewing a legendary explorer. Mirage Detection Unit. The time is finally approaching. Clearance sales resume next month. Good. It, it's a lot. Please be Joey. I don't get it either. I mean, I do like rocks, but not that much. Lava Ridge Hot Springs, where smiles spring forth as warmly as our volcanic waters. What? Are... Oh, Kecleon! How do? Give me Kecleon. All right, so far. There's no doors to walk in. I can't... <laughs> what can I do? So I can't go in here. Mr. Manager. All right. It... Where? Everybody's just locked up shop. You can't go anywhere. I mean, the textures look really nice. Everything looks really good. You know what, though? There's a lot of space over here. This feels a lot bigger than it used to. Am I next to the rocket? Or is that just the lighthouse? I'm actually starting to mix up my regions now. I'll be honest. They totally had you right next to the rocket. That cannot be safe. Like, hey, no. You know what? We know there are terrorists running around trying to steal things, but we're going to leave this rocket basically unguarded. So if you had a ladder or, you know, could actually jump, you could just totally tamper with this rocket. <laughs> Awful. No wonder the Pokemon communities always get in trouble. Need help from a 10-year-old. You have no security. What's going on with you? That is cool, though. Looks really nice. Alright, since they won't let us in any doors, and I don't think talking to anybody really gives you a whole lot of information. I use a wish tag. You gonna give me one? I always wanted that rock to be... I don't know. Something more than it was. But I, I just want rockets. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. I like that little scrolling mid on the Pokemon Center. It's a nice little touch.
Hey guys, did you know that if you step into the tall grass, Pokemon might attack you? <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Let's figure out what's in here. I don't think I've got any Pokeballs because we couldn't go into the anywhere and do anything. And I'm not sure if they're just going to heal everything up. Wow, that actually looks really good. You know what, let's see if they've changed any of the other an animations. I... I just want to check the other moves. Those animations look really good. <clears throat> tiptoeing. We gotta do some tiptoeing. You're totally right. Alright, Aerial Ace looks absolutely identical. I don't know if they actually changed the animations or if I'm just thinking that they did, but I'm pretty sure Leaf Blade looks a little different. Pretty similar, but not that I use Slam that often, but I don't know, that just looks cleaner. We're going to have to do that when we step out a little further. <laughs> Just the fact that you can tiptoe through things. <laughs> oh, God. We need to get through this battle just so we can do more tiptoeing. Come on. I do like all these new animations. These are actually really good. I'm just gonna keep repeating that same comment every time. I'm glad that they've set us up against such intelligent AI. These battles are extremely difficult. We've seen Odor Sleuth. <laughs> You're right. It does kind of look like they're made out of water beef jerky. like five minutes into this demo. Are you ready?
How many times is this game gonna make all of my... What a jerk. There we go. <clears throat> that magma animation, though, you have to respect that. That's... say just because I'm actually impressed by this game you know I just it takes me a little bit back to like first glances at X and Y because I mean I remember when we first when we all first got X and Y how stunned we were that we'd changed basically everything I mean we went from fourth gen to fifth gen and there was a bit of improvement Third to fourth, we were all really impressed with the way that the DS was. And then fourth to fifth was a little bit of improvement, but not crazy. But then five to six, I mean, when we went from black two to X and Y, like, that was impressive. And we're not quite, we're not quite to that point again with this, but... I thought it froze. Ah. Oh. You know what? Gen 5 almost got me out of Pokemon entirely. I I liked Gen 4 so much. Um, partially because the remake for that was Heart Gold Soul Silver, which was possibly my favorite generation before Gen 4. And battling in Gen 4 was a lot more fun. It's what got me into competitive battling in general. Um, but it just... Gen 5, for some reason... Do the creep, ah! <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that reference. You know what? She does look pretty good in her uniform. I'll give her that. Maybe I didn't pay much attention to the faces. I don't remember him. Our gold soul silver is Gen 4. It's a remake of Gen 2, but this is still Gen 6 right here. I do have to admit, though, although I played a lot in Gen 4, um, I played a lot in Diamond. And when I played in Diamond, I don't know, I was a little bit burned out after too much time in Diamond. And I ended up almost not finishing Platinum. <laughs> Platinum was really hard for me to get through. I do like this victory music. It's nice and upbeat. It's light. Less trumpety than I was expecting. Twenty fifth highest grunt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, give her credit. She does look good in that outfit. She wasn't lying about that. I just.
We've taken our first damage. It's alright, Gunner. You don't have to be an old man like me. Uh, I started with yellow, and so I'm not even... I'm not even, like, original Pokemon. I started with yellow. I didn't get blue version until probably about 2008, so, I mean, that was after... after Diamond and Pearl were already out. You're welcome. A bit tired. We lost 20 HP, guys. <laughs> we need to heal up.